Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting, so let's get started. We'll start off today with a two-inch brush and some blue and a touch of black. Now as you can see here, I have a little sketch. I just took a pencil and did a quick, maybe that's a barn, a little road coming forward. This just helps us keep the perspective straight. We're going to do a little farm scene today. Now we'll take this brush and just, we'll just throw in a nice blue sky up here. In fact, today we're, we're not really going to have any clouds. You know, we're going to have little tiny wispy things just made by not over blending the sky. But that's really about it. Because I don't want you to look to the sky. Not today. Today we're going to be looking at that little barn and the other, other nice things we'll put in this painting. This is just a gentle, soft blue sky. Now we'll tap the filbert brush through a little bit of blue and black, a touch of brown. And back here in the distance, let's create a few trees. See, I'm just kind of pulling in from the outside, kind of tapping, and just shaping these little, little trees back here. That's all they are, just little basic shapes. Little tiny trees, way far away. Much too far away for any kind of detail. There, and this filbert brush gives us a nice little round look to the limbs. And we just tap in a lot of the color. Now with the liner brush, we can add in just a few distant little trees back here. Maybe these are trees that are either dead or lost their leaves. But they just add a little interest in the background there. Don't get them too big. This is awfully far away back there. Very, very fine and thin lines. Next with the filbert brush and some yellow and green, touch of white. We can begin to throw on these nice little highlights here. Maybe we'll just kind of tap and touch. And allow this nice color to work around the trees. Of course, we don't want them all the same. So touch into some different colors as you go. There. Maybe this is almost kind of like autumn time. So we're getting to see some real nice colors back in here. I touched into a little bit of red there. Try not to get too much into your barn. That would make it difficult to paint later. Next, I'll load up a little flat brush with some black. And we'll begin to underpaint this little barn here. Just brush in some of this color. This is the dark, dark little side, the shadow side. This over here will be the highlight. With a nice little synthetic rake brush, we can pick up a little bit of light gray color. And right back here, we'll just drag straight down. Grab it at the top and pull down. This color was thinned slightly, a couple drops of paint thinner. So that, look, you get all these little individual board shapes in there. But be gentle and careful. You can't hit it too many times or it'll just mix together. There, leave all those nice light and dark areas in there. Makes it look exciting. With a small flat brush, we can drop in just the indication of a few shingles up here. I'm not really creating much when it comes to shape. I'm just trying to put on some color, broken color. Don't fill it in solid. We can finish off this barn by adding in just a few little details like these little cracks that are showing through the roof. Just gives it a nice finished look. Back to the filbert brush and some brown, black, little touch of green. And we can begin underpainting our grass here. First of all, we need a shadow right where the barn would cast, cast a little shadow in the grass. You can have a shadow up in here next to the trees. Throw it around like that. Then touch into your yellows and, and green. 
lighten the color slightly if you want to, but not much. Keep it pretty dark because of course, we'll be coming back to add highlights. Now we'll pull the two inch brush through some yellow, green, touch of red, and then tap it. And we can begin highlighting here. So I'm just gonna tap the brush right over the dark. And you can kind of decide looking up at the sky and the building and where the light's hitting it. You can kind of decide where your shadow's gonna be. There, something like that. Anything close is, is probably good enough. And tap, quiet, soft, little grassy meadow here. And the more you tap it, the softer and gentler it becomes. I was really careful not to put too much paint here on the canvas. So I have a lot of opportunity to work with this grass. Make a lot of nice effects. Now, before we go too far, let's throw in a little bit of water down here. So we'll just drop in some color like this, sort of scrub it around. All right. Touch darker here at the bottom. There we go. Let it match the sky. And then your dark colors to reflect the land around it. Now with the one inch brush and some black, brown, green, touch a red. Mix all those good colors together. Tap the brush. And we've had it too easy. We need a big tree right in here. Just touch in and shape the top and the edges. Let it come in and out. In fact, I wanna see some little holes of sky shining through. That'll be pretty. Now with the filbert brush, we can add in a big, big tree trunk. And maybe another one, I don't know. Something that comes along like that. Oh yeah, look at that. They're big and thick because they have to hold up this heavy tree. Give them a nice thick base there. A lot of character in this tree. Now with the filbert brush, we can tap on a lot of nice highlight here. I'm just tapping and working my way along the tree. I'm loading the, the brush up with a, a few colors at once. A little touch of the white right out on the tip. This makes such a nice little limb effect. A little highlight. Just sticks way out here. I mean, look at that. That is really catching the light. Very bright, very shiny. Very effective. Now with the filbert brush, we'll go through some brown and white. And maybe we wanna add on a little bit of highlight here to this tree. There. Light pressure. Now with the filbert brush and some brown and white, we can go ahead and paint in the last unpainted area. Just kind of scrub this color around. This is gonna be our little dirt path today. Maybe a little dirt road. I don't know, whatever you want it to be. You have to have a place to drive the tractors up into the barn. There we go. Scrub it right in. Not much paint. Really don't need much here. Just a little, just enough to coat the canvas. Now with the liner brush and some brown. I have a little surprise for you. We're gonna stick in a nice little duck here in the foreground, just kind of laying around in the water. With the script liner brush and some thin yellow and green, we can throw in a few blades of grass here in the foreground. Maybe we'll even have a couple of flowers here close up, but not too many. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.